Okay, hi everybody. This is the first episode of Hopefully A Lot. This is my, my, what, what's that word? Is my test or something? Um, so I'm gonna tell you a little about myself. I'm a writer and um, I've done a lot in the past five years or more. Um, I started uh, way back before I graduated college at SDSU, uh, getting serious with my life. And so I decided to fool around with Weebly and I created my own website. And that's what's up on the screen, the comicandvision.org. Um, I created it, I launched it on January 1st of 2011. I graduated August that year. But of course, for quite a while, I was devoted to creating comic characters and stories um, for my ideas and now I'll elaborate about that. Um, I I wanted to make inter entertainment and education combined to talk about and explain disabilities. I felt this was a, a needed step because um, many people don't know how to deal with disabilities and choose just to ignore it. So I, I thought if it was um, shown on screen, then people would understand it better. But then that came to another um, thing I had to deal with, which was, um, who's going to deal with, who's going to accept this and everything. So at first it was only one um, storyline and then it turned into many storylines. So it kind of is better accepted. And so, um, again, I brought, I attacked this with comics, film, and music. And so this took quite a while to achieve my goals of entertainment through all three aspects. So for five years after I graduated, I finished uh, my my goal of writing a trilogy for like a feature film trilogy, and I thought, okay, great. Now what now? And so, um, and so for five years, I learned how to, uh, learned and developed uh, graphic novels and I have 16 graphic novels that are currently given to a publisher but not developed because, get this, we have no money. Yeah, everything is money, everything costs. So, I wrote that this puts the, the new 52 to shame because I have something I call the Great 68. I'll uh, talk in further detail about the Great 68, but I, I don't copy in the Barbera and I don't copy KFC. So, um, I got signed to this company 
called MFG. Um, they are very small, not fully developed. I believe they only have five authors with them. Four are published, and I'm lucky number five. So uh, I have a book and 16 graphic novels that lack funding. So, um, like I mentioned, they're a small publisher with a small budget, and they're hoping to get another graphic novel done. I offered to partner with them and go 50-50 on the next project. We'll see what happens. But... So, um, their website is mistrailofantasygames.weebly.com. For now, they said to me that in the future, they're going to change their logo. So, their logo is up on the screen as of now. That logo will be changed, I don't know when, give them a year. Probably because um, the owner has won a contest to get $20,000 to their company upon like um, graduation or something. So uh, then I finally recently in the past two years started attacking entertainment in film. I learned about made film and media and they currently take classes in there. Uh, there. Um, I've been, this is third semester for me. It goes four semesters and then it's supposed to turn into a job. Um, so, um, their YouTube channel, you can see all our projects as of today. Um, YouTube.com made it film and media. So, I've been working on making the first film fire film which is the trilogy I told you guys about in the beginning of this episode. Um, so, um, it's a new breed of superheroes. Um, that was my first, um, attack on entertaining with disabilities, a very controversial subject. Um, so, I, I've been working in mid film and media with uh, Time Ends Productions, and um, on the screen is their website, timeendproductions.weebly.com, and you can email them and say what's up and they've been very helpful. The main person there is Max Neville, and he's a very nice guy and very understanding. So, um, I've been on the team, the special team of music production in there, and hopefully well, I signed with, signed up with ASCAP, which is a company that'll help me get royalties to every CD I contribute to. In the CD we're about to release this month, uh, um, I 
I did the holiday rap. I was I composed it. Of course, it got changed with all the students. All the students' input was greatly appreciated because I'm not the smartest person in the world in the Um, so they really um, fine-tuned it. And, um, I also have been, uh, I was the, one of the rappers in it. Uh, I also have done other projects in it, like I'm co-producing the CD, and there's more to come on that. So I want to show you guys a list of the great 68. Mm, if, if you're wondering what that is, this is the great 68. I tried to make it um, as um, easy to understand as possible. So, the main titles of the series is bold and underlined and then each character is numbered. So, the main series first is Fearsome Flyer. So, I, I just wrote down some, um, some of the aspects that the character has. Uh, Fearsome Flyer is a ninja warrior, has a black mask. Um, and covered belt. Um, so he has a red band over the and it dangles in the wind and there's more to it. But I know this is my first video so I don't want to bore you. Um, number two, I named him Meg. Magnesian. Magnesian basically has a electroskeleton that gives him extra strength. Um, he of course is disabled too. Um, and creates part of the team. And so the third person in the series is called Cyclone. Cyclone is a female with basically the same setup as Magnesium, but in the female version, she has prosthetics, no arms, no legs. I won't get into too much detail because I want to keep you guys guessing what's going to happen, what's going to happen. These three characters make up what they call the Inferno. Um, they basically are the superheroes, but I call them superhumans. Why do I call them superhuman? superhumans? because they don't have superpowers, they have super abilities. So all their um, villains now are Dr. Psycho, he's basically the mob boss. Uh, Hoodlum is a once good, nice girl turned into a bad ninja assassin. So, um, Electric Blaze is the next one. She is a very beautiful ninja assassin with her own things that happen to her that make her a very dark character. So then the Jekyll, the Jekyll is the second to Dr. Psycho 
Uh, meaning he's like number one to do. Oh, um, Dr. Evil, he's um, the next guy to turn to. He manages some people that I talk to you about later. Um, so Pragmatus, Pragmatus is um, the most killed ninja assassin. She is basically like the yes ma'am, meaning that she'll do anything that Dr. Psycho tells her to do. Um, then Beauty Stugger, Beauty Stugger is, uh, she, uh, is a Japanese-born uh, prostitute that preys on her clients. Uh, the chameleon, he was the head of Sakor, but um, after Dr. Psycho got to him, he looks nothing. Looks nothing like a human, and is a cannibal, and um, he he does, I don't know, very scary and very hard to control. So minor characters now, um, ninja assassins. Dr. Psycho manages ninja assassins. The Phantom Mafia, that is uh, basically like um, any mafia is managed by Dr. Um, the Jekyll. Some of the next series is called Kraken. Yeah, so, of course, the, the hero of it is Kraken is a mixture of Mr. Machete with the Predator. So, um, the villains of this series are the Lucifers. And then the, and the Enforcer is the one who represents the Lucifers. Um, so next is Banshee, not to be confused with Silver Banshee or whatever that is, <laughs> that DC created. Um, Banshee is a Terminator-like plant man that, that screams like crazy yell. So, um, and that's it for that series. Round two, uh, the next series, uh, the hero is Round two, also known as Phil Applebaum. I, of course, I, I molded this after a real person who was okay with the idea. So, I, I hope you like that series. The villains are Tony Kennedy O'Connor. He kind of lives two lives. He's a businessman. He's a general manager of boxing, but he's also a leader of the mob. The, his greatest... Um, his greatest person that he works with is Mad Mac. Mad Mac is a heavy set guy who has a, a, a Tommy gun. So then we got the Kingdom Come. The Kingdom Come is my my get up of the Greek gods, of course, the DC has the Greek gods, Marvel has the Greek gods, but mine are different. 
how do you say that they are heroes for the DC and Marvel? Guess what? My guys are not heroes. They are pretty badass killers. Um, they are. This take place in the um, Greco-Roman period when Greek and Roman people were around. The Romans eventually took over, but during that time, the gods actually came down to Earth uh, in real form <clears throat> and confronted the the Greeks and they were pretty pissed at them for not standing up for what they believed in and so a lot of stuff happens I won't get into detail because I want you to read my books eventually whenever we get the money and make them um, so we got we have Zeus the father of Artemis and Apollo, they're twins. So, um, and they both ride like chariots and shoot bows and arrows. Then we have Athena who has a sword and she basically got born out of Zeus's brain. And Eros is the son of Aphrodite. So, um, it's also what we all know as Cupid for those who celebrate Valentine's Day. Um, some minor characters are Discopolis, also known as the dis Discus. <clears throat> discus Thrower that we all know and love from the Olympics, but in this, he's pretty badass. Um, then we have Demeter, is the goddess of, of the seasons, and you, you have to read, read about it to know why she's there, controlling the seasons. Um, then, of course, Aphrodite appears in the clouds. Um, so then we have the Titans. And we have Eras. Eras was touched upon the most recent. Um, whatever, what's her name? The movie, um, Wonder Woman. But but everyone can use Eris because of how long ago it was created. Hermes has a battle axe. So um then we have this Hephaestus or whatever I can't pronounce it. It's the god of fire. Then Heracles is not a god, he's half man, half god. He's also Heracles. Um, Heracles is, in Greek mythology is born from Hera, the goddess, and a man. So that's why that is there. And then Kratos is the god of strength. Then um, we get into Lady G. Um, long ago when, um, when uh, Art Pop came out from Lady Gaga, I felt the need to create a character around her image, around what she stands for. 
not just her as a singer and like, oh my God, I'm a fan. Because the truth is, I'm not really a big fan. I mean, I do like her songs, but I do not follow her day after day after day. So, um, so then this turn, turns into a villain. Cyber Stealth is a webmaster that created the villain, or the bully villain um, meetup chat room, and he's able to go in, get sucked into the internet, and appear anywhere he wants to at a split second. Uh, so the police were turned it into these characters by him. There's Fox Hunter, which is his, his bully sign up name. The Angel of Death, which is his bully sign up name. Then Mechanical Brain is another bully's sign up name. And then there's uh, Pandora is a bully sign up name and um, Power Charge is another sign up name and they all create characters so okay we got more sorry bear with me I know this is long but I want to test some of these, this program out on my computer to um, see if I can interview people in the future and show them to you, my viewers. So, Renegade, a long time ago, I learned about AmericanBoom.us. It's in blue. If you want to go there, there's a free comic, um, and I was able to change this idea by altering the color scheme, renaming the characters, everything like that. So basically, is um. Shu and Seth are the main two, which in Egyptian mythology, um, Shu creates thunder and Seth creates wind. So combined with Ra, that Ra is the villain of the story, they create the perfect storm. Ra creates lightning. And so, um, when they're together, it rainy and stuff. Um, minor heroes in the series are JFK, I touch upon, and a secret service man. As a touch upon, and I was able to. Um, expand on the Secret Service plan of JFK and how they were the original superheroes we all know and love by the, the 1960 creators. So, um, I already touched upon Ra, which is an Egyptian sun god. And the minor villains are the Greys and and Lucky. And I don't know, probably um, in the future there could be more, but right now that's what we have. Um, the, okay, now we're going Dr. Death. I actually changed that title to Agent Ultra because Dr. Death is, I felt, not so strong. And it's focusing on a bad character where we want a good character as the title. 
So it's it's an ultra. He's it's an ultra is one of the eighty um abducted children. They were not abducted by aliens. Okay. However, we are all known to believe that, but they were abducted by then they the still very not known about Nazis that are around meaning the men in black or um other terms just like um the FBI or CIA. There are a lot of different names for this. Um so Dr. Death is basically a scientist scientists that went to Mars. Um, that, that was actually the number one most wanted Nazi. Uh, that was kind of like the right hand man of Adolf Hitler. He, um, he was um, the one responsible for tons and tons of Jewish deaths because he would perform, um, like, to perform surgeries on him, um, you know, anesthesia, put them in, um, those gas chambers, everything like that. So I created this thing, the Nazi Superman Cyborg, because Superman, not many people know, but Superman is a term not made by Americans, but made by by Germans, Nazi Germans. That's a Nazi word. So I had fun with knowing this because before Superman of DC. There was one title with with Superman as a villain that was bent on world domination, but the creators of Superman realized that hey, this is not not gonna sell. We have to change this, and we have to change it fast. So um, the. The, um, this series has a chance to grow, but right now I'm only trying to be a graphic novel writer. And these, this series I want to be basic comic, comic books, like 20 pages. So I don't know when that'll happen. Then Captain Drugbuster was created because of a guy, a guy I met, who actually created this character in the sixties, but never, never did much with it. And he gave me the rights to do whatever I wanted with it. So I did. I created two graphic novels on him. He's a family, um, is family oriented, and he's a father of a uh, son and daughter, and um, the son and him uh, like have this special bond with comic books. And so, uh, um, this man, um, is able to, uh, um, is able to use his passion in his welding job and create what he wanted, which is a prototype of this, um, special blaster that he has. And he goes, wow, I can punish, um, like, criminals and stuff. So his friends 
convince him to get into the police. And um, this turned into actually a series of um, Mike, who's a fireman, Bill, who's uh, in the paramedics, and Clarence is in the military to also do what he did and think beyond the box and create um, their own kind of comic characters. So, um, I haven't really touched upon it, but I could see them creating a super team in the future. So, International League of Nations was a project that I did. I don't really like to talk about politics, so I did it in art aspect. Um, so, basically, with the election of um, who we have, uh, like, what's the name? I don't even know his name. Okay, um, that dude, <laughs> well, basically, well, I'll just go into the project. There's this hero, Peacekeeper, who appears basically godlike, or godly, not god, though. Uh, he's a character that answers the prayers of a Christian a Jew and a Muslim and they all together of are, are assigned by a peacekeeper these um the pieces of a robot by a robot you ask because Cyclops has come back <laughs> do 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 so they, they need to fight the Cyclops. So the Greys are responsible for repopulating the Earth with stuff like this. So um, talks about lightly about Donald Trump, talks about Barack Obama and George Bush. So actually, that's all I have for you in this episode, episode one. I'm hoping to, in the future, elaborate um, on MFG, the people that signed me, and I hope you um, are able to look, look them up. That's it for this video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.